see if we can do it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. We are out of here. Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Ark Adventures, modded Ark Adventures on the Scorched Earth with Ark Comes Alive. And say hello to Alta Vista. And back there is X-Man. And we've got a couple of new things. The first one is right here in front of me. <laughs> and it's a, a Structures Plus grinder, industrial grinder, which is smaller than the normal industrial grinder. It's small enough that I can get around it and leave it in this base, so I decided to do that. It's got a couple of cool things in it, too. Um, it, it has a whole bunch of different engrams for creating stuff, and I don't know the quantities of these things. So we're going to kind of test that out real fast. It also has the ability to switch between gas and electric. I've currently got it on electric, which is really nice. So what we're going to do, I guess, let's just go ahead and do a little bit of experimentation. Say, for instance, well, I don't know about the feces. <laughs> I don't know if I can collect all of that uh, in enough time to do what I need to do. Well, I don't know. Large, medium, and small? Hmm. Do I have any of that in my auto compost thing? This guy. Or is it all... No, no, no. Say large. Uh, go back to the top. I do have a large. When does it expire? Good. Uh, medium. I need two of those. Cool. Now the question is small. Look at that. Two, three of those. I have enough to do that. <laughs> Amazing. Let's go ahead and see what uh, what we can do for how much. I'm curious about the quantities. Because this much feces will make, if it makes one sulfur, it's not really worth it if you're trying to collect or make sulfur, right? Let's turn that on. But, yeah, it makes one sulfur. That's not really worth it. Uh, for silk, you've got angler gel and fiber. Was that, that was like one angler gel, I think. I've got a bunch of angler gel somewhere. Um, oh, I think I know where it is. Let's just grab some fibre. Oh, there, there was some angler gel right in front of me. And a little bit of angler gel. Let's see what this does. So that and that. Uh, it said one angler gel, so we're going to put one in there just to see what one of these makes. Makes one silk. Not really worth it. Hmm. All right, well, blood packs. Mm, I don't know that I have... A blood bag. So let me go ahead and make a blood bag real fast. Blood. Ten hide and a chitin keratin, right? I think I have some hide over here too. I know I have chitin keratin over here somewhere. There's a chitin. And I don't have any hide here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab some hide and try to make that blood bag. All right. Now if we make that, and by the way, guys, Look what I found! I found it! I found one of these uh, XP orbs, and I call it Orbits. And I was giving it some health and some melee. Trying to make it a little more potent, and it's really cool. Because not only can you pet it like you can the Lystro, and it gives the XP bonus, but you can actually, if you're not carrying a Draboa, which I am currently, throw, him, throw her down, you can pick it up and put it on your shoulder. <laughs> so you can actually walk around and you see the animals that you walk near get the little arrow so you can actually take it with you into combat I guess and give a mounted animal a boost which is really cool so anyway uh, blood bag use alright we now have one of these how much salt does that make one it's not worth it I mean if these made like 10 salt out of a blood bag okay maybe here you have sap to 20 sap to make, and if this makes one cactus, cactus sap, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I have sap. Where do I keep the sap? I know I've collected some. There it is, but I've only got four. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I won't be testing that out. But I'm betting it makes one, which is kind of silly. So that would make one. That would make one of these probably one cactus sap and the twenty cactus sap. I have that. So let's see what that makes. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, I needed one more. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. 
That will make, let's watch, one sap. Oh no, ten. <laughs> well, then I'll, I can actually make enough to test the uh, sap, can't I? Let's go ahead and grab 20 of these again. 20 more cactus sap makes... Alright, now what does this make? 10. So it cuts in half? Yeah. Half of what you put in. You put in twice what you get out. That, that just... I don't know. I, I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, five raw fish meats, probably for one spoiled. And you can make here the, the raw fish meat, uh, the prime, sorry, prime fish meat. And here you make prime meat with raw meat. I guess that's useful if you collect a ton of raw meat to, to feed your alphas. That's about the only useful thing for this, I think. Is if we put this over here and we say, go ahead and craft all that, all that prime. It'll get food more easily than run, running out and killing things, probably. Just right here, because you've got tons of raw meat. Uh, sand is two stone for, let me guess, one sand. Not going to be a fair exchange. Okay, there's eight. Let's see, let's make one. One sand. Okay. <laughs> and obviously two stone makes a flint. One flint. Fiber can be made from thatch, and thatch can be made from wood. Now, the wood is not... Uh, going to be economical for me either for using this because I don't think. Let's see here. That that makes five thatch, but you know we've got that thatch processor out there next to the auto compost bin that I took you guys to, and that makes a ton more thatch for wood. I think it makes like twenty or fifty thatch per wood, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's good. It does do the normal grinding stuff too, which is what I really got it for. I actually don't want that in there. Um, for grinding down the things that we find to get, you know, elect electronics mostly. <laughs> metal and that sort of thing. Okay, I was out scouting around for stuff to do and saw this guy, or gal, what is this? A level 600 female. Now, 600 I don't believe is the highest level. I think it's like 720 or something like that. Uh, it, with our server settings for Indominus Rex. But 600 is still pretty high. I figured, hey, why not? Let's see if we can knock her out. One. Two. Wait till the animation finishes. Three. She's invisible. Four. Five. She's running. Six. We'll knock her out. Okay, let's take care of the little raptor minions. Awesome. We've got some prime on us. Let's just do a quick check for death worms. I don't see any. All right, let's grab this prime that we've got on us. Actually, we've got one of these too. I don't know if it'll work on an Indominus Rex. I think it only works on elementals by design. We'll see. And actually, it worked. He ate it. But he's also not hungry. Do I? Hopefully, I have some poison in here. Uh, hmm. Hmm, I didn't put any poison in here. Interesting. I probably should have put poison on the animal which knocks out the things I'm going to tame. Hmm, pretty dumb of me. What's your torpor like? Let's get down here. Your torpor is fine, 99% still, so I didn't extra damage it. All right, let's, uh, let's kill some things that might give me some. And there she is, Miss America. <laughs> there she is. Uh, it just came to me. All right, you stop following, and I'm going to change your follow distance to be a little bit higher. And I'm going to check your stats out so the folks can see. And do I need, I need a saddle, don't I? No, I can ride without a saddle. Oh, yeah, it has those um, armor things. And we've got some of them back at the base from killing Ind Indominus Rexes. Uh, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, starting out, 417,000 health, not that great, but, you know, I mean, pretty good. But, I mean, not that great for some of the, you know, Arc, 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 uh, Arc Comes Alive creatures. Stamina, I wonder if that'll be an issue. Damage looks, I don't know what the base damage is. Actually, let's find out. There's a raptor. Oh, this guy is slow. This is normal walk. This is sprint. Wow. Let me actually tell Jolly to follow. 
And I don't know what Jolly's follow distance is. Okay, I'm gonna set it to highest. Wow, this is sprinting. This is scary. We definitely need to put some speed in here. Oh, it's a Mega Raptor. Cool. All right, so we've got a primary attack. We've got a secondary attack, which is is the little nuclear bomb, <laughs> which killed it pretty much instantly. Um, let's go down here. Well, I got a Drabol, but I don't want to kill Drabol. Oh, well, I'm, I don't want to kill Drabol, and I stepped right over it. Paraceratherium would be a good thing to try. Okay, by the way, what's Crouch? Oh, Crouch is the nuclear, is the actual invisibility? In fact, I am invisible right now. Look at that. My guy's invisible. And I've got the little raptors following me. Cool. And my Jerbo is not invisible. Oh my gosh, look. Look, you can see Alta Vista floating in midair. That is awesome. Okay, what kind of bite do I get? 1702 is not that great. Not that great. That 47601 was from Jolly. Oh, he turns on a dime, though. Nice. Where's my little raptor? My little raptor buddies are still there. Okay, why are you attacking me? Stupid moth. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We just need to really... What? There's a rock elemental somewhere. I know there is. A rock just got thrown at me. Where? I'm confused. Alright, we're definitely going to need to boost speed. There's another rock. What's going on? I'm, I'm really confused. <laughs> and I think I'm getting hurt by it. We definitely need speed. Speed, 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 speed. Alright, we're back at base at night. And I brought the uh, Indominus Rex back and put him in there. His head's <laughs> head is sticking out. I don't think I can get a... Yeah, I can. Or her head. Miss America. Head sticking out. Having fun down there. I'll give you some more stats later. But uh, first, what I really wanted to do was I wanted to experiment with some of the new stuff that came along in Ark Comes Alive. They have this new thing here called... Where is it? What is it? Where did it go? Structures? Crafting? There it is. The Ark Factory. Um, the metal's not going to be a problem. Crystal, not a problem. Smitting paste, not a problem because I've been building smitting paste as I find it, as I kill things and get a bunch of chitin. Garrett and I've been throwing it in with some stones and just grinding it up. Oil, not a problem, because we have several oil pumps around. I've been collecting some oil. Polymer, not a problem, because every time I go out into the desert and collect some organic polymer, I throw it into this thing here, the transmuter. And as you can see, we're already up to almost 2,500 polymer. I've even, we, we were even higher than that. I've, I've made some. The only thing we don't really have and can't easily get is this matrix core. Now, remember, the matrix core, is it here? It is. Is made from chief soles and middle ingots. Again, middle, not really a problem. In fact, I'm going to start cooking the rest of this metal because uh, we've got a ton of it. Um, but the matrix or the uh, chief souls come from killing chiefs. And the chiefs are these yellow things. There's a rhino, a mantis, a mammoth, a gig uh, giganotosaurus, I believe. No, gigant Gigantopithecus, I guess. Uh, dire bear, Bigfoot. Which, no, the Bigfoot's the Gigantopithecus. This is a giga gigant. I think it's a giganotosaurus, is what that really is. Anyway, and then an Argent. Well, we're going to fight them. I think we're going to attempt to fight them with uh, our wolf, so we're not going to want the Argent, because we don't want things that fly. Um, let's try... Ooh, rhinos can be tough. How many of these can I make? Oh, six, one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know if I want to make that one. <laughs> four. Five. I guess I can make all but the Argent and see how how tough they are. Boom. I guess I'll just double click. Boom, boom. Boom. That's the Argent. Argent Tavis. Okay. we got a bunch of these things now. Let's go grab these guys. And the only way to, that's good. What are we short of, by the way, to make more of these? Oh, Toxic Blood. I got tons of Toxic Blood. Okay, so we can make more at will. That's not a problem. All right. So I don't really want to go in there. Do I? No, I want my wolf. My wolf's over here. In fact, we're going to wait till daytime. Okay, we're out here in the desert just south of our base, south of what normally is Green Tower, is now Yellow Tower, uh, in between these ruins. And I'm thinking this might be a good place to do it. Now, I, I'm here, I hear tell that a couple of the easy ones are the Mantis and uh, maybe, or the Gigantop the People are saying the Giganotosaurus is pretty easy too, but I'm going to try the Mantis. If we can't defeat the Mantis, 
we may not have much chance of defeating anything. So, what level is this guy? Are they all the same? Level 1000. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. We are out of here. We are out of here, baby. <laughs> there is no way we are going to fight that. That guy with this. No way at all Marty can take him. Wow, and Marty is my like my toughest dude. Let's get a little bit of health real quick. Did he finally give up? I think he did. That hurt. A couple hundred thousand. Okay. So he's going to be living out there for a while. We need to rethink our strategies here. Might as well feel good about ourselves by killing this dude. All right. That guy wants me. All right, we'll get him too. Okay. Woo! Guys, we need to rethink that. Um, wow. <laughs> Will the Apex do better? How much health do these guys have? Because this guy, he's, he can only take three hits, right? He's got a little over 300,000 health. Three hits and he's gone. And he took two hits. And I got out of there as fast as I could. Third hit probably wouldn't have killed him, but would have come darn close. All right. Who has a ton of health and wheels a lot of damage? The Apex? Let's take a look. Okay. Jolly has 1.9 million health. He could take a few hits. How much damage he could do, I'm not sure. I don't think they can be torpored, so we're not going to try that. Let's see. Miss America, who I haven't installed her uh, her armor piece for, her, her relic or whatever they call it, artifact, um, by now, by default, has 600,000. I've leveled her up a bit. And almost 1,000 melee. Don't know what kind of damage she can do, although I can obviously have the Raptor minions help too, but they're not going to last very long. Um, and like, he said, like I said, Marty's only got enough for three hits before he has to get out, so he's not in great shape. Um, so let's see what else we've got up at the base. And, uh, oh, by the way, we can always try to improve the relics, the artifacts, whatever they are, that the Indom uh, uses by using the Midas Touches from the Dragon Gods. And, in fact, I've been using the Midas Touches. I've been gathering a lot, and I'm using them, and I've actually improved my armor considerably. Uh, when I'm not... Where's my armor? There's my helmet. My armor level with just desert gear is already up to 1440 by just using my Midas touches over and over and over again, which is really cool. In fact, I've got a couple things to sacrifice already. And I need to go out and kill more and sacrifice more to get some more Midas touches so that we can use them on... Uh, are they in here? No, they're in here. On this thing... Indominus artifacts. We've got... Some vanilla Indominus artifacts. And you see in the text it says water retention means, you know, stat means damage. So it's 100% armor, or 100 armor and 100 extra damage. And we can increase that like we did with the uh, ones for the for the god. And I don't think the god is, is a candidate. Um, I should probably unload the stuff that's so heavy, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of crazy right now. All right. Uh, okay, first of all, Tyson. Well... Tyson can take seven punches, but he, again, does mostly torpor. He doesn't do other things. Mantis? No. Three hits, it's it's dead. XP? No way. Not at all. All right. Um, obviously not these guys. They're not built for fighting. All right, that means it's time to go visit the attic, which we will do. Can I fight those guys from the air? I think I probably can. Um, in which case, ooh, well, again, three hits. So that's not a good choice. Doug would not be a good choice. He could take four hits, but no, nah, he's not a good choice. Let's go into the attic, see what we've got up here. All right, here's our dark matter, our god. Three hits, not a lot of damage. <laughs> I just kind of want to swoop in with Power Girl and just eat it alive. Power Girl would only take two hits. That would be really cool if Power Girl worked, though. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be awesome. Um, Little Eagles Power RG? No. Hmm. Little Eagles Taquito? No. 
Not really. And these guys are not going to be it either. The Terror Bird, no way. Yeah. All right, so I think it's going to be going to come down to let's use the Indominus. Let's go out and kill a whole bunch of stuff so we can do some sacrifices. Eventually I'll pop outside. There we go. Uh, so we can do some sacrifices, get some Midas touches, increase the uh, the artifact, and see if we can get the damage of that guy up. I should probably take a look at the uh, the power wyvern as well. Hmm. How's our metal coming along? Still cooking. Okay, after a bunch of killing, I managed to get a bunch of them, and I'm going through them. I have already got up to 1160. And no duplication there. This will be my last one. Let's see if we can get any better. Oh, 1300. So that's 1160 armor. That's interesting. How come it says... That's 1160, 1260. This is 1300, 1221. There we go. So this has slightly better melee, but this has almost as much melee and much better armor. Hmm. I think we're going to take that. And also... I don't know that I'll have time to use this, but I will. Pos I, I'm going to get more. I'm also um, decided I'm not taking my Draboa, and I've stripped out of my good armor and replaced it with mostly junk. And the only other uh, feet and hands I had were my second tier good armor. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to see how good this guy is. I'm going to maybe get him up another level or two if I can before we go out there and fight. And uh, I'm going to get more. I guess more health, because that's what I really need. Some more health potions, regeneration potions. And I'm also going to put these back up there in the base. And I got rid of everything I don't need to carry with me that I can't replace easily. And we'll see what happens. Okay, one more run to kill a bunch of guys and throw some tributes in here. Um, it only takes one from any type of thing, I think, or maybe one per stack. I've already got one I picked up from an actual guy. So I'll throw one of those in there and some of this and some of that. That should give us a pretty good chance. Let's go. Boom. Nothing. Uh, let's throw in another saddle. Boom. Nothing. Boom. There's one. Boom. 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 There's one from a tiny, a small chance. That's cool. Another one. Nice. Okay. That's all we got. And we got some XP potions. Let's go apply them to our guy and see what we can do. Oh, Marty. Now, the artifact, the saddle, basically, that I've got in here is already pretty good because uh, things that alphas that normally, high-level alphas that normally do thousands of damage are doing, like, 200, if even. So I think this is doing a pretty good job of defending. So let's go ahead and apply the XPs. Let's get that up there. I boosted health quite a bit. I've been hitting stamina now and some melee and the reason stamina and the reason i have so many agility potions here is because this guy goes through stamina so fast so i'm gonna hit a little stamina there all right now let's try to improve the melee and defense let's see nope nothing one more time nope nothing this sucks let's reattach it i'm getting paranoid now nothing oh come on it's like it can't find anything better. Oh, oh. Well, no, it's not better. 1300, 1221. Not better. But it did give me another one. All right. I think this is what we're going to have to go with, guys. I have a feeling we're going to die. But I have tons of agility. Poison erasers in case uh, my torpor gets high because I've, I've overused my, st you know, gone beyond my stamina. And some health potions. All right. Here we go. Okay, guys, I was afraid of this. I believe that the Mantis has despawned. I've looked everywhere, and uh, I was through here before in my hunt and didn't see it, so I went ahead and brought another one. It's the Bigfoot, unfortunately. I can't make another one, or can I? Hmm. Hmm. Should I try them? Nah, let's just do it. The heck with it. Bigfoot, how you doing, buddy? Well, here we go. You give me raptors. Give me initial damage. And what kind of damage you doing to me? Twenty eight seventy is not bad. I can I can survive twenty eight seventy. That's 
not bad at all. Because I really wish I wasn't up in your grill. And then people could see what's going on here. I'm going to just sit here and fight this guy for a while. I oh, no. Sorry. I thought I killed him. And then, no, no, no. It's the other way around. They killed the raptor. I got to watch my stamina. I'm going to sit here and use, feed my stamina, feed my health. And uh, see if I can just wear this guy down. He's not going to kill me in a few punches, which is the good thing. Whoa! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yes! Miss America! And there's something down there in that bag, which I will go take a look at here in a second. Let's go take a look at it now. See what we got. Oh, we got some of that Lord Armor, or whatever that stuff is. Okay, thank you. Oh, we gotta take a look at this stuff, guys. Okay, first of all, we got a costume for our Gigantopithecus, which we don't have any of. We got head, chest, feet, and hands of the armor. We got a chief soul, which we need. Oh man, we were able to do it. This armor is insulation, hyperthermic is pretty good. Um, yeah, hyperthermic 143. I mean, it, it's better than nothing, but that armor is insane. Hang on, what's the hyperthermic on this one? 217, even though it's it's. You know what? I'm gonna take the less. Should I take the less armor? No. Let's. I've got. I've got fortitude. Let's go with the higher armor. Chest piece. Feet. Feetsies. Oh, I just did the feetsies. What am I talking about? Hands. Look at that armor rating, guys. Seven, almost 18,000 armor rating. 1872 hyperthermal insulation and a really cool helmet. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we're getting a heat wave right now, and I'm not even noticing it. Let me go gamma down to two. Oh, yeah. I think we can take that mantis. No problem. Just have to have some potions on us. And Miss America can do the job. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.